Hello, and welcome to another Amico tutorial. Today, I'll be helping you troubleshoot glaze defects by showing you how to calculate the specific gravity of any glaze that you might have around your studio. Let's start by talking about what specific gravity is. The specific gravity of a glaze, or any substance, is the ratio of that substance's density, or particles per unit, to the density of a standard substance. In this case, we use water because as a standard liquid, it works out that one gram of water is also one milliliter. Specific gravity is important with each glaze because if the particles are too dense, you'll notice your glaze flaking, running, and being generally too thick. Alternatively, your glaze will be thin and not fire correctly if the particles are too sparse. The specific gravity of a glaze falls within a certain range. Testing and knowing this range will help make problem solving in your studio a lot easier. Resources regarding the specific gravity of the Amico glazes may be found linked below this YouTube video. Now that we're familiar with specific gravity, let's get calculating. To get started, you'll need to find yourself a good digital kitchen scale that can measure grams and can hold up to about 12 pounds. You can find these online or in a store anywhere from $10 to $50 depending on what you want to spend for your studio. Bring your scale to zero and measure the weight of your empty container. You'll need to subtract this from both the weight of your water and the weight of your glaze when it's time. Mine is three grams. Now fill this container with water and note how much it weighs. Mine weighed 118 grams. Dump out your water and dry out your container and fill it equally with glaze, noting this weight as well. Mine ended up being about 190 grams. So to find the volume that you've been pouring, grab your calculator and subtract the cup weight from your water measurement. Since one gram of water is one milliliter, my cup volume is going to be 115 milliliters. Take a note of this. Now to find the pure weight of your glaze, subtract the weight of the cup from the measurement you noted. Mine ends up about 187 grams. Now you're ready to calculate your specific gravity. You will need to divide the material weight, mine is 187, by the volume you measured, mine was 115 milliliters. Rounding to two decimals, I've arrived at a specific gravity of 1.63 grams per milliliter. Knowing that my glaze's range of specific gravity lies between 1.38 and 1.41, I know that there is too much glaze material in my glaze and that I should add a little bit of water and remeasure until it is correct. We hope this process is useful and easy to understand. Thank you for joining us and best of luck with all of your glaze testing.